We all know special relativity tells us that the speed of light is the ultimate speed limit in the universe, but what if I told you there's another layer to this? Enter doubly special relativity, or DSR. In DSR, not only is there a maximum speed, the speed of light, but there's also a maximum energy scale and a minimum length scale. This maximum energy scale is known as the Planck energy, and the minimum length is the Planck length. So why does this matter? Well, the motivation behind DSR is quantum gravity. Scientists believe that the Planck energy is where unknown quantum gravity effects start to play a significant role. And because physical laws should be the same in all inertial frames, this scale must stay fixed no matter who's observing. Initially, scientists speculated that doubly special relativity, DSR, would lead to distinct physical predictions in high-energy processes. One of the key areas of interest was the GZK limit on the energies of cosmic rays from distant sources. The GZK limit, derived from ordinary special relativity, suggested a cutoff in the energy of cosmic rays. However, early theories proposed that DSR might challenge this limit. Interestingly, it has now been established that standard DSR does not predict any suppression of the GZK cutoff. This is in contrast to models where an absolute local rest frame exists, such as effective field theories like the standard model extension. But the intrigue doesn't stop there. DSR often implies an energy dependence of the speed of light. This means that highly energetic photons could travel at different speeds compared to their lower energetic counterparts. If true, this energy dependence could be observable in high-energy photons reaching Earth from distant gamma-ray bursts. In 2009, the Fermi LAT experiment provided some crucial insights. It measured a 31 GeV photon that arrived nearly simultaneously with other photons from the same gamma-ray burst. This observation excluded significant dispersion effects even at energies above the Planck energy, challenging the predictions of DSR. Moreover, some scientists argue that an energy-dependent speed of light within DSR could lead to inconsistencies. They suggest that such a model would result in non-local particle interactions, which should have been observed in particle physics experiments by now. Now that we've delved into the predictions and experimental evidence of doubly special relativity, let's turn our gaze to another fascinating concept, de Sitter relativity. De Sitter relativity is an intriguing framework that naturally incorporates an invariant length parameter. Because of this, it can be seen as an example of doubly special relativity. However, there's a fundamental difference. While all doubly special relativity models involve a violation of Lorentz symmetry, De Sitter relativity maintains this symmetry as a physical constant. In usual doubly special relativity models, the frameworks are only applicable at the energy scales where ordinary special relativity is expected to break down. This creates a patchwork approach to relativity, where different rules apply at different energy levels. In contrast, de Sitter relativity offers a more unified theory. It is invariant under a simultaneous rescaling of mass, energy and momentum, making it valid at all energy scales. Imagine a universe where the rules of physics are consistent no matter how high the energy levels climb. This is the promise of de Sitter relativity, a seamless integration of principles that apply universally without the need for adjustments or exceptions. This breakthrough could redefine our understanding of the universe, providing a more cohesive framework that may unify various aspects of theoretical physics. First attempts to modify special relativity by introducing an observer-independent length were made by Pavlopoulos in 1967, estimating this length at about 10 circumflex 15 meters. Fast forward to the year 2000, and Giovanni Amelino Camellia introduced what is now known as doubly special relativity by proposing a specific realization that preserves the invariance of the Planck length 16162555105 meters. This groundbreaking idea was later reformulated by Kowalski Glickman in 2001 who focused on an observer-independent Planck mass. Around the same time, Joao Maguejo and Lee Smolin proposed a different model that also centered on the invariance of Planck energy. They realized that there are three kinds of deformations of special relativity that allow for the invariance of Planck energy, either as a maximum energy, as a maximal momentum, or both. These theoretical proposals are motivated by the expectation that the Planck energy plays a crucial role in a theory of quantum gravity, setting the scale at which quantum gravity effects become significant. 
if special relativity were to hold up exactly to this scale, different observers would observe quantum gravity effects at different scales due to Lorentz Fitzgerald contraction, contradicting the principle that all inertial observers should describe phenomena by the same physical laws. However, this motivation has faced criticism, particularly because the result of a Lorentz transformation does not itself constitute an observable phenomenon. Moreover, DSR suffers from several inconsistencies in its formulation that remain unresolved. One notable problem is the soccer ball problem, which makes it difficult to recover standard transformation behavior for macroscopic bodies. Another significant challenge is that DSR is primarily formulated in momentum space, and there is currently no consistent formulation of the model in position space. Despite these challenges, the pursuit of a deeper understanding of the universe continues. The journey through the realms of advanced physics is filled with both triumphs and trials, and each step brings us closer to unlocking the mysteries of the cosmos. As we wrap up our journey through the enigmatic world of doubly special relativity, let's look towards the future and ponder what lies ahead. In conclusion, doubly special relativity offers a fascinating extension to Einstein's theory, providing new insights into the nature of space and time. While it presents challenges and requires further experimental validation, its potential implications for our understanding of the universe are profound. One of the most exciting prospects is the potential for new technologies and applications. Just as Einstein's original theory of relativity paved the way for GPS technology and more, DSR could unlock innovations we can scarcely imagine today. Scientists are particularly interested in its implications for quantum gravity, which could revolutionize our understanding of the fundamental forces that govern the cosmos. Moreover, the quest to resolve the inconsistencies in DSR, such as the soccer ball problem and the formulation in position space, continues to inspire researchers worldwide. 